we start tonight with a medical milestone. The VCU Health Hume Lee Transplant Center is now the first health institution in the country to perform a fully robotic liver donor, living liver donor transplant. First one in the country. Yes. The transplant is performed after removing part of a healthy liver and transplanting it into a patient with liver failure. 8 News reporter Sahara Sri Raman joins us live from the transplant center with more on this absolutely major milestone, Sahara. Eric Deanna, that's right. This groundbreaking procedure could revolutionize liver transplants as we know them. Doctors use the Da Vinci 5 system, a surgical robot that offers better precision, fewer complications, and a speedier recovery. Until now, the robotic surgery is uh, in the living donor liver transplantation was limited to donor side. Uh, by demonstrating that the recipient side can also be performed fully robot, uh, robotically, we have opened the door to the new era of the minimally invasive transplant surgery. Dr. Sungduk Lee led the operation. The first time in the U.S. a full liver transplant from a living donor was done entirely by robot. So what's unique here uh, is that the liver transplant typically requires a large incision and significant manipulation with the human hand. Uh, the robot allows for greater precision and much less trauma. Liver donor transplants already come with advantages, but adding robotic assistance makes them even safer, with smaller incisions, less pain, and a faster return to daily life. If you're using the robotic yeah, surgery, they are, they are uh, going home very fast, uh, much faster than the open surgery, and then it's back to normal life, much quicker uh, back to normal life. Uh, comparing the open surgery. The Da Vinci 5 system magnifies 10 times more than the human eye, allowing for extreme precision. Uh, but only if the entire team is in sync. Uh, I think this took them months of preparation and collaborations. According to the CDC, liver disease affects over 4.5 million Americans. The transplant wait list constantly growing. Breakthroughs like this could save more lives and encourage more people to consider living donation, knowing the process is now less invasive for both donor and recipient. We can expect some increased safety and better outcomes and then broader access to the transplant care. Uh, also, it may also encourage more people to consider uh, living donation, uh, knowing that the post-donor and recipient surgery can now be done uh, with a greater precision and less trauma with a robot. Dr. Lee tells me that as robotic tech continues to evolve, we could see transplant centers across the country follow VCU's lead. Live in Richmond, Saharswe Raman, 8 News.